salsa lessons in what was an industrial wasteland in the heart of Johannesburg. Yes, this famously violent, rough and ready city is enjoying something of a makeover. It's absolutely safe and wonderful and great. Yeah. No, it's really cool. It's like a multicultural um, vibe, sort of people from all walks of life and you're not sort of uh, walking around needing to carry a gun in your pocket. Islands of affluence are springing up, luring South Africa's middle classes back into a city they abandoned in the 1990s. This place seems to be getting busier every week. It's like a little slice of London or New York in the heart of Johannesburg. As soon as you, 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 you come into a space that has sort of been forgotten and you, you, you um, um, revive it again, um, natural things like job creation happen. Just a lot of history here and we just need to clean it up um, and, and, and make it look like it used to. There is a long way to go. Criminal gangs still control some neighborhoods. But security has improved significantly. It's in places like this that you can really feel the fabric of the city changing in front of you. A landmark commercial building transformed into bedsits, aimed at black South Africans who were once barred from living here during the apartheid era. Just pass, just pass, just pass, just pass. Today, public and private money is pouring into new infrastructure, trying to make Johannesburg more accommodating, more family friendly. It's a survivor. Uh, it's uh, survived through the, the tough periods in the mid 50s survived through the 70s, the 90s when things were really, really bad. Johannesburg continued to survive and thrive. So it's a place of hope. Actually, I, I'll sum it up as that Johannesburg is a place of hope. It's not the most safest of spaces, I have to say that. Um, but if you really, really try hard, there is potential in Johannesburg to become something better. Bad reputations can be hard to shake off, but this is a young, dynamic city itching to surprise the skeptics. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Johannesburg.